Right, so this is my next product review. The Carpuroid HD Display 7 inch touchscreen. So it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it's Bluetooth connectivity, it's IP67 waterproof, so it's completely waterproof. And it's designed uh, for a motorcycle. Carpuroid make other displays for cars, vans, motorhomes, things like that. So they've sent me this one to see if I want to try it out. So what we get in the box we've got some instructions we've got a ram mount extension we've got a tool we've got a connector which is to wire to the bike battery but it also comes with a usb cable as well so if we plug that in Here we go. And then what will happen is a little blue symbol will appear there when my phone connects. There you go, my phone's connected. And there you go, that's my Apple, dis Apple CarPlay from my phone. So I've got my phone, recent calls, contacts, keyboard, voicemail, got my Apple Music so I can go through the tracks Apple Maps I've got messages I've got my calendar settings Google Maps What else? Well I've got my WhatsApp So 200 messages So what I can do with this is instead of now having my phone on the handlebars in my phone case which I've seen recently a few videos in London um, of people in traffic and people coming past and ripping the phone off the handlebars. So what I can do now, I can keep my phone in my pocket or in my tank bag and then I've got my phone display there. There's a RAM ball mount on the back. So what I'll do is I might put that where the sat nav is. So these are the settings within the carpet itself. BT Trans, that's where that's where you'll search and connect any Bluetooth devices you've got. EQ, you can change the EQ of the sound coming through. So normally with the pack talk connected to my phone, I've only got the selection of EQ presets what's in the phone, but on this you can now adjust the EQ to where you want it. Display off. So these are the settings in Carpuroid. You can put an SD card in there so you can play your own music. Bluetooth. So A Auto, I'd imagine, is Android. Yep, so that's Android. And iPlay is Apple CarPlay. So there we go, there's my phone. Right, let's go and try it out on the bike, let's see what it's like. Right, so I've fitted the carpyroid, what I've done, I've used, that's my Garmin sat-nav bracket. So I've got a ball mount on there. This is the screen. So all I need to do is just adjust it where I want it. I think we'll have it there. Right, let's start the cables running in. OK, 
cables down here, USB, so what I'll do, I'll plug that into there, and then we'll try it out, we'll see what we got. Let's have a look. Let's tilt it up a bit. Yeah, okay. Right then, so what we're going to try first is I've disconnected my Cardo Pack Talk from my phone. So the phone's going to connect to the copyright and my Pack Talk is going to connect to the copyright. So the copyright is going to be the device in the middle. We'll see how that works. I want to try it um, because with the Cardo connected to the copyright. I'm going to lose the controls from the Cardo. So my skipping songs and things like that are not going to work. It's going to be relying on the screen. And my only concern with that is I don't really want to be operating the screen while I'm riding. So we're going to try it. And then what we'll do, we'll try connecting the Cardo to the phone. And then just the phone to the copyright. And we'll see what the difference is there. So let's put the pack torque on. Okay. USB is plugged in for the copyright. Let's see what happens. There we go. So it's just informed me the Cardo's connected. So in a moment, I'd imagine a little orange triangle. There it is. And there you go. So that's near my phone. And it's already started playing the music. Yeah, that's paused. Let me just check my controls on my Cardo again. Yep. So the controls are not doing anything on the Cardo because the Cardo is bypassing my phone. Right, the volume works. Yeah, I've got music. But I've got no Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, so it does come up. Okay, let's go and try it. So really, all I can do with the Cardo Pack Talk is use the volume control. I can say, hey Siri. Go back. Yep, so I can go through my Apple Music, that's fine. Pause. Phone. So there's my favourites. Recent. There's my list of contacts. I can use the touchpad. I've got no voicemail. My favourites. Google Maps. Google Maps is working. Message. Sizzup Tracker. Right. No. Okay. Right. Okay then. So playing back my Sizzup trap on the bike, it just sent me a message saying movement detected on the bike. That's because I've moved the bike. Okay. What else we got? We got WhatsApp. Uh, 
we'll have a look at the settings in there actually later on the phone music phone calls got my calendar settings Google Maps Apple Maps show my route to work let's go and try it so I've got some music on okay So I can adjust the volume, play next, okay so I can pick the songs, let's have that one, so that's the only thing with using the Cardo Pack Talk intercom connected to the screen and the screen connected to my phone, I've got to use just the screen to pick music and change songs which is not ideal but you know it's it's doable it's workable so look on maps the screen's nice it's a nice size the brightness is is really good on it it's very clear And then the only thing I'm getting, about every 30 seconds, the music's cutting out for about half a second. So it's playing now. Oh, that seems to have um, stabilised itself a bit. That's had something to do when you're using the screen. Is it just uh, interfering a bit? Right, so what we're going to try and do now... We're going to call the wife, which, when you're stationary, that's quite fine. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Uh, okay. You call me back. All right. Drop. Okay, music's come back on automatically. Okay, so it's ringing. Can I answer it from my card? Oh, no. no, okay, I've got to press on there. Hello? Hello, can you still hear me? Okay. Can you send, send me a text message? And then about 30 seconds later, send me a WhatsApp message. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm doing a bit. Drop. Drop. Okay, so yeah, that works fine. can make phone calls. I can take phone calls. Pressing the buttons on the card, I didn't seem to do anything. So it does seem I've only got volume control. Well, let's see if a message comes through. Well, the music's just cut out. So, so it's just announced that message to me. What, well, read again? Oh, it's gone. Okay. No, I don't want to reply. Right, okay. So the wife sent me a text message, it come through. So it reads the message to you. Right, so the music seems better now, it doesn't seem to be cutting out about every 30 seconds. So that must be when I'm using the navigation and pressing the buttons, it seems to be doing it. Okay, what we do, we're going to pull in. And we're going to try using the Cardo connected to the phone instead of it connected to the screen. So I've got my button control. So we'll see how that works. Right. Stop the music. 
Right, so this is the menu now of the carpioid itself. Uh, Bluetooth transmissions. Right, so there's my... That's my pack talk. Right, now I'm going to delete it. Right, that's my pack talk off. Oh, she wants to do this voice. Yes. Right, so I've deleted the card out. From the car provided. Right, so now. Well, let me go back, actually, because the wife has sent a WhatsApp message. But that didn't come up on the screen. Well, that might be something to do with my settings on the phone about how a banner displays. Right, so now there it is, there's my pack talk. Right, okay. So now I've got my cardo connected to my phone, the phone connected to the screen. So now I should be able to operate the music from my cardo. Stop music. Right, okay, so I've now got full control. So, how does this work with phone calls? Right, so I've got... Yep, Maverick. Right, so I'm saying anything music is going to come to my headset. What about the phone? Okay. That's coming through the phone to Mikado. Hello. Right. Can you call me back then, see if it's working again? Okay. Alright, bye. Okay, that seemed to work. Now I should be able to answer this. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you can hear me okay? Yeah. Yep, yeah, alright then. Yep, yeah, drop. Drop. Right. So I seem to prefer that setup. I prefer my cardo going to the phone and my phone going to the carpioid. So I'm not too keen on having to use the screen while I'm actually riding. I know normally when I play my music I will leave it running, but at least now I can operate it from my card, which I'm used to. So we'll try it. We'll see how we go. Have I got Siri? Because Siri is my bottom button. Message wife. Hey Siri, message the wife. Hey Siri, open maps. Okay, that worked. Right, now I'm asking Siri to send a message, but I'm not, I'm not hearing anything. Let's try it on here. Let's try that again. Hey Siri, open music. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open Google Maps. Hey Siri, directions to Birmingham. Right, okay, so it seems to be fine at giving commands. So that's what I found out then. So connecting my cardo to my phone and then the phone to the carpioid screen, I can use my control buttons on my headset, which I prefer. I can listen to my music, I can skip music, I can change volume, I can press my Siri button. I can tell it to open maps, make phone calls, play music. The only thing it doesn't seem to like with the connection this way is 
when I get a message come through, it doesn't play the message back into my intercom. But that might be a setting on my phone. That might be how I've got uh, WhatsApp and messaging set up, so I'll check that. It did work when I connected the card out directly to the copyright, but it doesn't seem to work when my phone's connected. I don't normally have my messages played back to me anyhow, over my card out previously. But I think I prefer this setup, so I don't have to touch the screen now to play my music. Right, so let's try it. If I want to play my music, I'll press that button. Yep, my music's on. Open Google Maps. There we go, that's Google Maps. So the Siri seems to work fine at giving commands. The only thing it doesn't like is the messaging. Reading the messages back. Open Apple Maps. Open Music. Yeah, that works fine. I'm happy with that. I'm not too concerned about my messages not being read back to me. If that's the feature you do want, then you are going to need to connect your cardo to the carpioid separately and connect your phone separately to it. And what I'll do now, as I pull up, I'll just try switching it all off and see whether it all connects automatically and still works. So we'll try that. Right, so I've turned the bike off and I've still got my music playing in my headset. So I'm going to turn the cardo off. Right, that's my cardo is now off. So let's put it back on. Phone should connect to the carpioid. Both a little symbol to appear and then it should automatically kick in to Apple CarPlay. Yep, there we go. Now put my card up, pack talk on. Right, okay, I think I can see what's happening. I've pressed play, it's not coming through my card though. If I go into my music. Yeah, see there. My phone's defaulting to CarPlay when it's connected. Right, let's turn off that. So the music's coming through my phone. I've now clicked for it to come through my card out. Right, let's see if it automatically switches it back to Apple CarPlay. Yeah, so as soon as I've switched that on, it's moved from my card out back to the CarPlay. So I've got to choose it to go back to my cardo. When the cardo is connected to the carpioid and the phone is connected to the carpioid, you've got to use a carpioid to control the phone, skip songs, make phone calls, and the cardo doesn't work. If you connect your cardo to your phone, then it all works as normal and fine. But as soon as you're switching the bike on, your cardo is not the music on your phone is not playing through your cardo. It's defaulting to play through Apple CarPlay. I can either have everything on the screen and my cardo buttons don't work, but it, it requires me to use the screen while I'm actually riding. Or I can connect to my phone, my cardo to my phone, but I've then got to go on and switch the audio. What I wonder where now... Yeah, look, see, automatically, let me stop it, so it automatically defaulted the phone call to CarPlay. That's not quite working how I want it to work. So I think my only option is I'm going to have to use it through CarPlay, where I'm going to lose all my control buttons. 
not what I wanted. But it's something I think I'll get used to when I use it. Because what I'll do is when we go on our big tours, I will actually have my Garmin sat nav on there. Because all I'm really doing then is following routes. I don't really need to be seeing my music. And I won't really be using Google Maps for the big tours. Because I'll actually have uh, program routes. But there you go. That's the carpet road. That's the 7 inch. But it's still a good screen. I do like it. I think I will use that for how I'm been riding today. Things like that. I won't use it for main tours. I'm pretty sure that is nothing to do with carpet ride. Carpet ride is just receiving car play from the phone. I think the things what have been happening and the things I don't like is nothing to do with carpet ride. That is all upper car play. That's how upper car play works. But if you're happy with how car play works and having all your control on that screen And that is, um, that is the device for you. So I'm trying to think, actually, do I have it here? So it is a bit closer to me if I ever need to press buttons instead of me reaching forward. I could try it there, have the display here, and then keep me sat nav there. We'll see how we go. But that's a 7 inch Carpyroid HD, upper CarPlay, Android Auto screen. It's a nice bit of kit, it's got a beautiful display on it. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye.